Hi all, I am Neelam Bosle from Navasayadri Education Society, Group of Institutions. Welcome all for workshop on Basic Engineering Mathematics. Let's start day one session, Basic of Trigonometry. There are three functions of an angle commonly used in trigonometry. Their name are sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine, pronounced sine. Cosine, pronounced cosine. Tangent, pronounced tangent. And Greek letter theta, pronounced theta. These three trigonometric functions in relation to the right angle are displayed in the figure. Sine theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Cos theta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side. Now how to remember all these ratios? Now look at the figure. Sine theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. Cos theta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side. So we, uh, we, have, to, we have to remember one word only that is SOCATO. Now let's solve some problem using our relation, finding sine, cos, and tan. Problem number one, find the sine, the cosine, and the tangent of angle A. Give a fraction and decimal answer round to four places. In this figure, hypotenuse value is given 10.8. Opposite side of A is 9 and adjacent side of A is 6. Now, to find sine A, use formula opposite side divided by hypotenuse. That is, is equal to 9 divided by 10.8 is equal to 0 0.8333. Second, cos A is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse is equal to adjacent side each value is 6 and hypotenuse value, has value is 10.8 is equal to 0 0.5556. Tan A is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side. Opposite side its value is 9 and adjacent side its value is 6 is equal to 1.5. Problem number second. Find the sine, the cosine, and the tangent of angle A. In this figure, hypotenuse value is 24.5. Opposite side of A is 8.2. And adjacent side of A is 23.1. To find sine A, use formula or use a relation. Opposite side divided by hypotenuse is equal to 8.2 divided by 24.5 is equal to 0 0.3347. Second, cos A is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse. Adjacent side its value is 23.1 and hypotenuse its value 24.5 is equal to 0 0.9429. Tan A is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side is equal to 8.2 divided by 23.1 is equal to 0 0.3550. Now find a side. Example number one, find the missing side around the nearest tenth. In this figure, angle is given that is the 24 degree and hypotenuse side is given 283 meter. Missing side is opposite side of angle A. So for use the formula here, sine of theta is equal to Sine of theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse. So here angle is 24 degree, therefore sine of 24 divided by x divided by 283. 
using the cross multiplication 283 into sine of 24 is equal to x therefore x is equal to 115.1 meter example number 2 find the missing side round to the nearest tenth in this figure angle is given that is the 40 degree here hypotenuse side is given 20 feet and adjacent side is x so we have to use here formula for cos a is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse angle is 40 degree therefore cos of 40 is equal to x divided by 20 using the cross multiplication 20 into cos of 40 is equal to x therefore x is equal to 15.3 feet let's find angle example number 1 find theta round to 3 decimal plus look at the figure in which hypotenuse value is given 23 and adjacent side is given that is the 7 so we have to use here formula for cos theta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse therefore cos of theta is equal to 7 divided by 23 so this implies theta is equal to cos inverse of 7 divided by 23 so this implies theta is equal to 72.281 degree example number 2 find theta round to 3 decimal places in this figure in this figure hypotenuse side is given that is the 400 and opposite side of theta is given that is the 200 so we have to use your formula for sin theta is equal to opposite side divided by hypotenuse so sin theta is equal to 200 divided by 400 this is equal to 1 by 2 so this implies theta is equal to sin inverse of 1 by 2 this implies theta is equal to 30 degree so conclude that when we are trying to find a side side we use a sine cos or tan and second note is what when we are trying to find an angle we use sine inverse cos inverse or tan inverse thank you